Good day. We are going to talk about the difference between cloud and local documents today. So um, students have an Office 365 account in which they can create documents like Word documents, Excel documents, PowerPoint, slideshows, etc. So for example, let's open up a Word document and we'll just use a general document here. Right now you can see that we're working inside of our browser and this means that this is currently a cloud document. You can do a lot of different things. You can share it, all this stuff. So say you are done working with your document, go to File and Save As. Now, you can save the copy online, which is your default, rename it, or you can download a copy, or you can download it with different formats. So in order to be able to upload this into the Genzibar eLearning system, you do have to download a copy to your computer. This makes it what we call a local document, meaning that it lives on your local computer drive. If you click that option, it's going to tell you your document's ready. Select download and then find where you would like to save the document. We'll just call this test document and we will save it under students. Now you'll see this document now wants to open in your local Word program. The best thing to do at this point is to close out of your cloud document and go into your file manager to find the local document that you saved onto your computer. Here it is called test. You can look at the document, see that it is the same document we were looking at online. And if we open it here, it will open in Microsoft Word, which you will see is the local version of Word and not the online version. So you see the difference. This is not in a browser. Now, once you verify where you've saved the document, you want to go into My NCWC, find your class, and then find the assignment. Scroll down to Upload a File, choose your file. Now you're going to go back and see, you know, My Documents. We saved this in Students, and Upload the Test Document. You'll see it's listed here. You can give it a label and a description and select Add File. Make sure that you name your document according to any specifications that your teacher has instructed. Once you've finished uploading the file, you'll see it listed here with the time and the date that you uploaded. And then you can either upload another file or turn in your homework. Don't forget to click this button. Once you've turned in your homework, you're all set. Have a great day. Thank you.